Hi, I'm Fraser, one of the support consultants here at Salamandersoft, and today we're taking a look at our Salamander Status Viewer. It's a small application that gives our customers an easy way to monitor and control some key aspects of the Salamander integration suite. It comes as standard as part of all of our new installations, so if you're an existing customer, the chances are you already have it. If not, it's available on request at no extra charge. The features available in the Status Viewer will be different if you're one of our customers running a multi-school installation, so please see the end of the video for the features that are available for your type of install. When launching the application, you'll be greeted with this screen, which starting from the top, it's telling us we've got no issues detected, and that's checking against the log files that Salamander holds to see if there are any warnings, errors, or fatal messages that might have come through. It's also telling us that all of our workflows are currently enabled. Again, this will check against the Salamander files to see if there's any workflows that are currently disabled, and it will also tell us when our license expires. Starting to look at the tab menus, the general tab gives us a basic overview of the installation, telling us the installation name, the date the configuration was last modified, as well as the current version of Salamander. It also gives you the option to manually update Salamander, should that be required. Down the right hand side it lists the MIS access information that we hold on your installation, as well as a test connection button, which is useful for troubleshooting any MIS connection issues you might be having. And lastly, down at the bottom, we've got the basic OUs in Active Directory, where we're maintaining and creating user accounts. Next along, we've got the Created Users tab. This lists all the user accounts that have been created by Salamander, and it allows us to filter the accounts that we've created by the account type, and in the case of pupils, the year group the account was created in, the date the account was created, as well as allowing us to search for specific users. Likewise for staff, we can filter the staff whether they're a teacher or a non-teacher, as well as the date the account was created on, and of course searching for specific staff members. Next along we have the Logging tab. This again allows us to filter by time period, as well as the type of logger and the type of log messages that are being shown. Any warnings in the logs will be highlighted in yellow, with any errors and fatals being highlighted in red. Next along we've got the Tools tab. Here we can update any encrypted properties that we hold on your installation. These will be things like passwords for service accounts or database connection strings. And down at the bottom, for customers that have our calendar sync, you can enable and disable the calendar sync for pupils and staff, as well as change the processing range and enable or disable the processing of next academic year's calendar events. Here we've got the Manage Workflows tab. This will show us all the scheduled tasks that are being used to run Salamander. It will show us the time it last ran, the time it's due to next run, as well as if the task is enabled or disabled. From here, we can also trigger a manual run of individual tasks. We also get given a list of individual workflows that are being run by a given task, and it allows us to enable and disable individual workflows if required. For our customers that use our sync to SDS, from here we have the ability to enable and disable our automatic upload of CSV files to the SDS service. We can also update the profile name, as well as add any restrictions to include and exclude specific classes or subjects. Likewise for our customers that use Apple School Manager, from here you can enable and disable our automatic upload of CSVs to Apple School Manager, as well as change the profile in ASM that we are syncing to. And for our customers that use Google Classroom, from here you can enable and disable the processing of all Google Classrooms at the click of a button. Lastly, we have the Support tab. This is to grant our team access to your installation so we can perform maintenance and changes as required. This feature isn't enabled by default and we'll always ask your permission before enabling it. But once registered, the Support tab will allow you to set an access timeframe and then enable Support access at the click of a button. Once active, a log of everything happening in the remote session will be displayed on the screen. For our customers running multi-school installations, the status viewer will look slightly different for you, as not all the features are available for multi-school installations. As before, the general tab still shows the name of the installation, the last date the configuration was modified, as well as the current version of Salamander and the ability to manually update. You also have access to the Manage Workflows tab, giving you the ability to see the Salamander scheduled tasks, as well as the individual workflows that are running as part of those scheduled tasks. You also still have access to the Support tab to allow our team remote access at the click of a button. 
For more information about the Status Viewer, please visit our website. And if you have any questions or queries, please get in contact with our support team.